zoom zoom when you mean bang. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my top favorite nude lip combinations. Now this video is long overdue. I've been meaning to do it for quite some time. So don't kill me, it's finally here. I compiled all of my top favorite nude lip products. I'm talking everything from lip liner, lipstick, liquid lipstick, and gloss. So grab your notepad, pen, pencil, whatever you need. And now what do we do? Because today's video is going to be a one-stop shop for any and everything you need to know about my nude lip combos. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn on your post notifications so that way YouTube will notify you when I upload, which is every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With that being said, let's actually cut the talk in, cut the intro, and let's get into our first category, which is lip liners. Let's go. So one of the main reasons I wanted to start off with lip liner is because for me, lip liner is really the base in which I create my new lip combinations. We all know lip liner is perfect for preventing your lipstick from feathering outside of the lines, but more recently, I feel like lip liner has become very popular for creating that bigger pout, that fullness that we all know and love. And that's something I really love to do, and that is why I go in with a darker lip liner. You guys will definitely see a trend here. I love brown lips, I love brown lip liners, I love a brown nude. So that's exactly what I'm gonna share with you guys in today's video. I do wanna start off with one of my personal favorite lip liners, which probably comes to no surprise and it is by KKW Beauty. This here is the lip liner in the shade Nude 2. This here is the prettiest brown. It's like a mid-tone brown and I love to line my lips with this. Sometimes I'll fill them in completely, but I do tend to just line my lips with this brown here because I don't want it to be too, too dark. Now, this is a higher end lip liner. I do have two dupes that are spot on to Nude 2 by KKW Beauty, one of which is the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the shade Saucy Toffee. I'm going to swatch it right next to KKW Nude 2 so that way you guys can see what they look like right next to each other. They are very, very similar, if not spot on dupes for each other. And then I have this one right here by ColourPop. This is ColourPop BFF3. Again, spot on dupe for KKW Beauty Nude 2. All three of these are going to make the perfect mid-tone brown lip liner. So definitely take your pick. My personal favorite would have to be the KKW Beauty Nude 2. But if you want two affordable options, definitely check out one of the two from ColourPop or Milani. This next lip liner favorite has been a favorite of mine for years and years and years. And I'm talking about MAC Strip Down. This really is the perfect light brown nude with more of a peach under tone. I am going to put a swatch of it up on the screen so you can see what it looks like. It is such a beautiful lip liner that looks good with so many different lip combinations. Now I do know that this is a high-end lip liner so I did go out of my way to find some cheaper alternatives and dupes for the MAC lip liner in the shade Strip Down and I came across this one right here by LA Girl. This is the perfect precision lip liner in the shade Bare. Again the prettiest light brown nude with a peach undertone definitely a spot on dupe for MAC Strip Down. And then another one that I found was the Lux Liner by Juvia's Place in the shade Sweet Nothing. Out of the two, I will definitely say that the Juvia's Place one is a little bit more moisturizing on the lips. So I don't find that it's as long wearing as the one from LA Girl and MAC. So I definitely wanted to put that out there, but it does make for the perfect lip liner and you can actually fill your lips in completely with it without them balling up or getting crusty or anything like that. But all three of these lip liners are great, great options to the nude lip combos I'm going to be creating in today's video. The next lip liner I want to talk to you guys about is this one right here by LA Girl. This is the ultimate intense day auto lip liner in the shade Keep It Spicy. More recently, I have been using this like crazy. It definitely is more of a deep mauve, very much reminds me of like Mac Soar or Mac Whirl. I really love the formula of the LA Girl Intense Day Auto Lip Liners. They are very creamy, but once they set, they set and they don't really go anywhere. Another color that I have in my collection that is very, very similar to the one by LA Girl is this one here by ColourPop. This is BFF2, so if you have that in your collection, they are very 
very, very similar, if not spot on dupes for each other. So those are two options that you guys could check out if you wanna recreate my nude lip combos in today's video as well. The last and final nude lip liner I want to share with you is this one right here by NYX. This is a suede matte lip liner in the shade Cold Brew. This definitely is a rich brown. It's a deep brown. It's a chocolatey brown and it has more of a red undertone. This is one of those vampy lip liners that I feel like everybody needs in their collection. I do love to pair this with a darker nude lipstick or liquid lipstick for that matter. But if you really wanna create that full blown ombre effect, you can pair it with a lighter nude lipstick like I did in this picture right here. It looks absolutely stunning. And I definitely feel like the matte suede lip liner collection by NYX is worth checking out because they have some other really, really good nude lip liners in the line. But I wanted to highlight this one in today's video because it's the one we will be using later on. So with that being said, let's get into the nude lip combinations using the lip liners I just talked about. I went ahead and zoomed you in. We're super up close and personal because I want you guys to actually be able to see the lip products going on, what they look like, yada, 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 yada. All right, so what I have on my lips right now is the NYX Wade Matte Lip Liner in Cold Brew paired with the NYX Line and Load Lippy in the shade DM Me. Now this is such a beautiful nude shade. What I love about the Line and Load line is that you could actually use this as a lip liner and you can also use it to fill your lips in completely. This is what it looks like swap watched again gorgeous am i right or am i right and again i paired it with cold brew by nyx i'm not going to take this off because i already have it on i'm just going to go in and apply additional products so that way you guys can see what i'm talking about After lining my lips i like to go in with a little bit of the line and load lippy in the shade dm me And that's it for my first nude lip combo. Let me tell you, I love how deep, I love how vampy it is. It's not your typical like light nude. Don't worry, we'll get there, but I love this. It's so pretty. Ugh. I'm gonna be saying that about a lot of the nude lip combo, so sorry in advance. Let's get on to lip combo number two. Let's get on to the second lip combo, which is one I feel like I wear a ton. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Intense Day Auto Lip Liner in the shade Keep It Spicy, and I'm going to pair it with Maybelline's Baddest Beige. So one thing I really love about Maybelline's Baddest Beige is that it feels like I'm wearing a lip gloss in the form of a lipstick. It's very hydrating and moisturizing on my lips. It's not a long wearing lip product by any means. So if you eat, drink, it will wear off, but it's so beautiful on the lips. Like I love a hydrating lip product. I love a glossy lip product because I feel like it makes my lips look a little more lush, a little bit more plump, and I'm really into that. Now we're gonna move on to nude lip combo number three. I'm gonna start off with KKW Lip Liner in the shade Nude 2, and I'm going to pair it with the CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Hustler. Now this lip combo right here definitely is more of that brownie nude, which is something I'm really, really into. It's matte, but it's not overly matte to the point where it feels drying on the lips. It definitely is movable, but it's not a long wearing formula. So I wanted to put that out there. Sometimes when I want something a little bit more shiny and glossy, I'll top it with a gloss like this one right here by Morphe and Madison Beer. This is in the shade Mercury. I love that this is such a pale nude, so it really lightens up the lip. So what I'm gonna do is 
I'm going to just add this to the center to add some lightness to the overall lip. This is what it looks like with the gloss. It added that element of lightness, but it also looks really pretty, saucy and glossy, if you get me. If you guys have not tried out the Madison Beer and Morphe lip glosses, you guys are missing out. They're very hydrating, not sticky on the lips. And this one here in the shade Mercury, on its own, it's such a pretty, just like pale nude. So it looks incredible over top of lipsticks, but it also looks really, really good on its own paired with a lip liner. So check these out. For my fourth nude lip combo, I will be using MAC Strip Down, but again, you can use the LA Girl lip liner I recommended or the one from Juvia's Place. I'm just going to line my lips with this and fill them in completely. This is what stripped down looks like all over my lips. Again, this used to be my tried and true go-to lip color. This all over my lips and nothing else. But more recently, I have been going in with a lipstick over top and I've been using this one by MAC called Yash. This definitely is my go-to lip combo when I don't want anything too brown or too glossy. I definitely feel like this is very moisturizing on the lips without being shiny or anything like that. My perfect every single day nude. When I tell you, I get so many compliments on this lip combo. You gotta try it out. For this next lip combo, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the LA Girl Intense Day Auto Lip Liner. I'm going to pair it with this lipstick right here by e.l.f. This is in the shade Creme. It's a really, really beautiful pale nude. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of a gloss on top. This is Mercury by Madison Beer and Morphe. Actually, I'm running out of Keep It Spicy by LA Girl. So, Back up, I'm gonna use BFF2 Lip Liner by ColourPop instead because it's the dupable version to the one from LA Girl. So I will definitely say that this nude lip combo is as pink as it gets for me. If you notice a trend between all of the other lip combos is that they definitely pull a little bit more brown. This one definitely screams pink, but again, it's as pink as I will go. I really love it though. I'm definitely digging the vibe. The last and final nude lip combo I'm going to share with you guys is using the NYX Line and Load Lippy. This is in the shade Never Listen. And I'm gonna pair it with Creme de Nude by MAC. This is very, very similar to the one by e.l.f. Cosmetics in the shade Creme. Yeah, Creme de Nude, Creme. I'm gonna use Creme de Nude because it is a little bit more sheer and it's definitely up my alley. So let's do the damn thing. I'm also going to just add in a touch of KKW lip liner in the shade too. And this right here is the last and final nude lip combo. Honestly, I'm digging it, I'm feeling it. It definitely gives off some shine, but not too much shine. Not matte either. All about it. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Those are my top six nude lip combinations. I know I had a lot of brownie nudes, but that's just what I'm into. I feel like I had a good mix between like gloss, matte, and just like satins in general. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any nude lip combinations of your own, leave them down below in the comments because I love trying out your recommendations and I know everybody else would really enjoy trying out your recommendations as well. I don't have anything else to say except I really need to hydrate and moisturize my lips 
this tonight because that was rough, but I do it for you guys. I do it because I love you. So subscribe if you haven't already, like this video and turn on those post notifications. So that way YouTube will notify you when I upload, which is every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love you guys and I will catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.